Hey everyone, this is Black Binder, and as you can see, we are in high peak right now. Um, I was playing a bulwark. Uh, somebody said that their shield attacks are good, so I went over it. I I was running up a bulwark to test whether they're any good or not, and because I I made a bulwark guide where I said that they weren't very good because you don't get shield attacks, and the I was basically right um the end of the individual shield attacks aren't that great um they obviously one triggers block and one triggers stun which is good but uh i went in and did five out of five for shield pummel five out of five for shield slam and then five out of five for shield expertise and that is just getting the numbers up to uh what i do with bump attacks so if you're willing to put an extra four eight and then five four eight twelve and seventeen so if you're willing to spend 17 skill points they are a little bit better than your um bump attacks if you don't have like an amazing like lucky gear because as you scale as this as you get better you get more uh, strength and everything, your bump attacks scale faster than the shield attacks. So, and then another thing is, because these are both multiple hits, uh, if you have a lot of on-hit damage, that can weigh things in their favor. But again, it's, it's comparable damage to your bump attack anyway. So, they do suck damage-wise. I mean, your bump is going to do more, but you are also going to use the stun one anyway. And uh, Dapple pointed out they really don't have much place to put in anyway. Normally, I wouldn't even take two points in Unending Frenzy. I wouldn't take a point in Spell Shield. Um, I was floating points in Fast Metabolism, but I accidentally put my points elsewhere. So now these got stuck in there, so I can't take them out. And then um, none of these other trees, unless you were going to go into one of these trees, which Dirty Fighting might be worth it, but... Hold on. Um, but dirty fighting would actually lend into using the shield attacks because their multiple melee attacks will get you more procs on this. Um, but yeah, if any of them, I would go with uh, superiority just for actually no for damage. I would definitely go dirty fighting. But uh, juggernaut's really good. Improves physical damage reduction by seventeen percent. And 9% chance to shrug off critical damage for 20 turns. It's a really good buff. And it's instant as well. So, Well, but anyway, I figured I was going to fight the final boss. I might as well make a video of it so people can see it. I'm on a bulwark. Uh, I've got Tinkers, 5 out of 5 device mastery to make my Tinkers quicker. Uh, I did actually try Constitution as well. And it's actually... I don't, I don't mind it with Unflinching Resolve. Now that they... They have a priority system on it. Effects will be cleansed with the priority order stun, blind, confusion, pin, disarm, and slow. So now this this is much better to take it up out of 4 out of 5. And with the scaling, it gets up to 55% chance. 58 if I get one more point in it, but I, I just didn't have the points. And uh, yeah, I do have ogre wielding. I'm wielding a two-hander in one hand and then a decent shield. Where's my shield? Right here. Uh, I chose it just because it has resistances. That's normally what I look for in shields. And then this is crazy. It's got... Uh, do I not have my... No, I don't. Where is my... Huh. Alright, I need to make another razor's edge. I don't know why I don't have it. That's weird. But anyway... Um, it can cripple the target, reduces mind spell combat action speed. Uh, with my Voratune Edge, it's got 38 armor penetration, 21 accuracy, 32% crit chance, and then penetrate all 19%, and then critical multiplier 44%. And the best thing about that is my actual critical chance is up to 114%, so there's no way I'm not going to crit when I hit. But the annoying thing is even I've got max dexterity and 5 out of 5 of co combat accuracy and I still only have 75 freaking accuracy. I still whiff all the damn time. But that's okay. 
what we're going to do now is I think I'm going to start off the fight with uh, Unstoppable Force Self. I always forget to do that. All right, spare me the small talk. I'm here to stop you. They talk to you anyway. All right, now, what do we want to do here? Is she still amazing? I've heard that she was really buffed in this, but 15,000 hit points, maybe. I, I don't know. So let's check out Elandar real quick. Let's check out what his mana thrust is doing for damage. That's always what I like to look at to gauge the rest of his damage. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so his mana thrust is doing a thousand arcane damage. That's not good. So, how are we going to do this? I could close the portals, but I think with Wind Blade we should be okay leaving them up. So I'm going to Unstoppable Force Salve, and then remove her as many sustains as I can. Alright, did we get... Yes, we got uh, Essence of Speed off. So let's go ahead... Actually, I wanted to check how good that scales on her as well. 33%, so not too bad, but every three turns she's going to get an extra one on me if I'm not sped up myself. Oh yeah, check this out. Look at my helmet. It's got skull crack on it. 3,197 damage. 3,197 physical damage. It's just, that is insane. Um, I'm going to go for him first. Elandar, I always thought it was a female for some reason. But uh, look at that. I already hit her for 4,000 damage. Who? How? Look at that! Elandar hits uh, Sun Paladin Aaron for 4,280 Essence Drain. What is that? Oh, okay. I think that's his, uh, the Staff of Absorption. Well, that's not fair. All right, let's do this. I'm just going to run up and try to blow him up as quickly as possible. Probably can't stun you, can I? Well, can I counter-strike you? It's the reason why I'm not using these two yet. I wanted to get a counter strike debuff, but it looks like it's not going to work. Are we burning Hex? We're not. Why are my cooldowns all so long? I guess they're not. Alright, am I stuck in there? No. Alright, he turned off my shield wall, so I'm turning it back on. All right, one down. That means we're sped up. So I can come over here. I'm going to get rid of his sustains as well. Uh, assault. Let's wind blade. I took wind blade just to speed things up. It's not necessarily the strongest um, choice for damage over time. But it speeds up the end of the game a ton. So what is Bloodlust doing? How is he healing is what I want to know. Ouch. So we're going to speed away all the way over here, put our healing infusion on, heal ourselves. Jesus. What is he doing that's hurting us so much? Oh, it's our own damage. I for we're empathetically hexed. Going to be in trouble here in a second. Go ahead and Relentless Pursuit to get rid of that. There we go. Bought ourselves some time. Alright, what is this? The Undeath Portal. Let's just go and use your orb. It's under Plot Items, Orb of Undeath. Use it. Alright, now do not kill all of them, please. Sometimes it's good to leave one portal open. Portal of Dragons, let's close it. So you, it, like you just saw me there, I was able to manipulate the field by running into someone else. But also, you can body block him. Now, why did he hit me so hard? It, I hope it was just the Hex. Stop running. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We've got Step Up. Get rid of his bone shield. And then buff away from him. There we go. 
We'll put on our healing now before we start getting hurt. Jesus. I've got burning hex on, so I can't do anything until I clear that. Let's make sure it's magical, right? Yes, magical, which is fiery self. Shoot. It did not get it. It got a bunch of the other ones, so we're going to have to not use anything if we can help it, because if I use my, uh, well, where is it? Let's, this, it'll, Assault has a cooldown of 15, Windblade 28. Yeah, it would be stupid to use it. If we can get away with not using it, that is. Are we still on here? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and sting him so he doesn't heal if he tries. At least, uh, Aaron is staying alive pretty well. Need to go four more turns. If I do this, really don't want to. Just see if I can wait it out. There we go. All right, Burning Hex is gone. I'm gonna shield and heal. You should probably do those apart from each other, but I didn't want to risk getting shot before my healing kicked in. Okay, she's gone, so it's now just me and him. Let's uh, bonk him. Then run around the corner so I can heal, hopefully. How much negative life do we have? Only 100? Shit. We're dead. Maybe. Yeah, we're dead. Oh well. But it's just him. So let's go ahead and go back at full life. He's got nothing on him. He's still got the Counter Strike debuff. I'm going to put all my buffs on. And I'm going. This. He's got the Counter Strike buff. And my skull thing is a big one hit. So I'm going to use that on him. Look at that, it did 10,000 damage. So, it's got Counter-Strike again, then we use Whirlwind because again, it's a big percentage damage. Assault has more damage, but it's over multiple hits. Well, it's got similar damage, not more. There we go. I don't know what he had on me that was making me miss so much. All right, they're dead, Woohoo! All right, now we can try. I don't. I don't want this guy to die. I need a mule. I need a mule for 1.6. But uh, we can try at automaton, especially since we have fire affinity. Everybody says just use fire affinity and it'll be easy. But we'll see. I really doubt it. Okay, how do I want to do this? I don't need anything, so I think we can just go there. If I can remember where it is. Anything good? Spark Gasher? No. Lightning Catcher. Alright, hold on. Cancel. Not yet. Just want to enjoy my last breath. <laughs> All right, we have to wait for him to get his reflection up. It's not up right now, so let's counter. No, nope, he still hasn't done it. Counter strike. All right, we can. Look at that crap. How much did he hit me for? 957. All right, now he's got reflective skin on, so I can, I can get rid of it. That's, he had 100,000 hit points before. I don't know why he's only got 22,000 now. Ow. Okay, I wanted to show you. 
damage one hit, 484, 139. So I just did all that damage to myself, basically. It's got Irresistible Sun on as well, so I'm going to run away. Just give me a second to heal. The, I'm not going to be able to do anything but bump attack or my big one hits. So Windblade, Bleeding Edge, and Skull whatever, Skull Crusher. Shit, I did not even use my fire affinity, did I? Whoops. Look at that bullshit. What did he hit me for? Only 673 arcane. And 900 somehow. Why? How? What's his speed? I can't see it. Yeah, it's only 100 speed. Don't know. So what we need to do now is get him out of sight so I can get a turn to heal. All right, fire affinity is what they say to use. But now that I didn't use my pain suppressor, I'm probably going to die because he was almost killing me before. All right, how much did I heal for? Heals me for 300. It's not bad, but I mean, it's not going to save me. All right, he's disarmed. Oh, this would be bad. All right, we're shielded. Let's um Let's uh see if I can't get block up. Get a counter strike going. All right, we have a counter strike. Now let's headbutt him. All right, and then heal. Yeah, okay. We're good at healing or we're good for heals. Bleeding edge him. Ouch. Run away. All right, I need to writ large to get my cooldowns to go down quicker and get rid of my infusion saturation. I'm going to use my healing salve. Do I need to? No, I don't. By the time he gets into range, I'll be healed. Look at that bullshit. I was at full life. 2,442 arcane damage. That's more life than I have. All right. So I can't use Amazing Fiery Salve or his big hit's going to kill me. I've only got 35% uh, Arcane. I've got 56 with my Unstoppable Force or my Pain Suppressant on. So I just need to always use Pain Suppressor Valve. All right. Irresistible Sun is on, but it's about ready to get off. Molten Skin, I thought it was... Reduces fire damage received. Okay. That's he must have two molten skins. No, one's reflective skin. Okay. So don't do fire damage. Got it. Okay, we want him to come to us. I can't use any of my movement stuff to go to him except for Rush, otherwise. Because I need to be able to run out of view. Look at that, I'm barely even hurting him. Am I missing him or something? No, 197. <laughs> awesome. And I need to run away again. All right, he's disarmed. I can't get rid of that daunting presence, so there's nothing I can really do about that. I'm going to spit at him. All right, he's got reflective skin again, so I'll remove it. Let's see if I can... No, there's no way I can stun him. All right, here's his saves if you ever want to go up against him. You need 104 save, 
101 spell and 95 mental. What is my physical power? Yeah, 82. There's no way I can stun him. And he'd probably sh he probably has something to get rid of it anyway. Pain suppressor and then bleeding edge. Nope, couldn't knock him back. Well, at least we're faster than him. That's good. Still at 100%. <laughs> Look at that crap. Damage mod, 364% all. 384% fire. All right. I'm not going to waste the rest of my lives on him. This guy is just not cut out for it. I can't imagine Lilaninaniel is any easier. Whatever our freaking name is. Lilaninaniel. But, let's see. First, we gotta murder everyone. I've got a bunch of gimmicky items, like gimmick build items, in my vault, which is why I don't want this guy to die. There's just not enough room for anything. There's not enough room if I try to uh, put it in my vault, so I just have to leave it in my fortress. All right, let's shield and get rid of her. Nope, that didn't work. Guess she's gotta be in combat first. So let's wind blade so we can take out our buddies, then shield and remove her stuff. Okay, she's still got Essence of Speed, so we need to get away. Shoot. That's right, it's got a pretty long cooldown. Alright, well let's just see if we can fight her. Remember, she revives nine times, I think, or something like that. Eight times? I think she has Mana Shield or something. There we go. Ouch. There we not go. Oh my god, she's already got them all back up. Or half of them. Let's heal. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have healed. I just don't have any time to heal. All right, I need four turns. All right, we're back in business. All right, let's get Counter-Strike and then Headbutt. There we go. She restored her body. Yay, now she's got Tempest. Definitely want to run away then. Tempest is which one again? Yeah, it's the lightning version of Utter Cold. It's not a big deal, but I still need to be able to remove it. That I can take a full powered lightning blast to the face. Well, I guess we're gonna have to try, because we don't have, we're not ready. All right, that's two down. She put anything back up? How much is her... I can't tell how much her arcane swarm is doing or whatever that's called. Her disruption shield. Should have left him there if I ever needed to step up. Ow! Did he get around the corner? Shield. Where'd she go? Need to get rid of wildfire and tempest, otherwise I can't stay near her long enough to do damage. Okay, good, they're both gone. Now we can try to kill her again. It's a counter strike. Come on, hit me. There you go. And headbutt. 
Look at that, 11,000 damage. That's awesome. <clears throat> Good, she's still stunned for six turns. Wow. Is her What is her saves? How, how is she stunned if she's got 110 physical save? It makes no sense. Man, her disruption shield is just way too good. God damn it. I had the blood of life. Alright, I need to get out of here and heal up. Wait for my cooldowns to come off. Shield. Unfortunately, there's just no reason in coming in when she's got disruption shield on, because look, she's got twenty thousand mana. Let's let's see how much what its max uh yeah, twenty one hundred and forty four is how much I have to go through just to break her shield. Although that really doesn't seem undoable. Let's try it. Shit. I'm in trouble. Yep, I'm definitely in trouble. There was no reason to use that either. This is it. Oh well. That was a good enough whatever. For a bulwark, I mean. But yeah, I'm gonna just figured I'd show you guys that. I did I did find Star and Moon, so I put that in the vault though for my Shadow Blade. But there'll be more curse videos coming in a little bit, so. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.